This hardy fox is able to survive in temperatures as low as minus 40. He shares his icy world with other cold adapted species like the reindeer, grouse and snowy owl. But the Arctic fox has long suffered at the hands of humans. Its fur has always been highly prized and over 100 years of extensive hunting pushed it close to extinction. The Arctic fox was protected by law in 1930, but population levels have always been low. Their breeding success depends almost entirely on the availability of their favourite prey, the lemming. 1963 was one of the great lemming years. But recently, climate change has severely affected population levels. Mild weather and rain causes ice to form over the vegetation which the lemmings usually feed on. Fewer lemmings means less prey for arctic foxes. Warmer winters also means that the arctic fox's larger, more aggressive cousin, the red fox, could invade its territory and steal its food. By 1998, it was estimated that there were only about 50 arctic foxes left in the whole of Norway. Norwegian scientists became seriously worried that the species was on the verge of disappearing. So they decided to act. A captive breeding programme was started and animals were released back into suitable mountain areas. The results have been positive. Today, there are about 1,000 Arctic foxes in Norway and Sweden. The hope is that there will soon be enough foxes able to survive on their own in the Scandinavian mountains and cope with the problems that beset them from all sides. But many years remain before that goal is reached, and in the meantime, the population is being monitored closely.